Hello everyone, this is Paul at the Dallas Zoo. We're gonna go see some gators. Come on! Well, this exhibit that we have here is called the Ghost of the Bayou. It's been open since the spring. Uh, we do have uh, three albino alligators on exhibit, um, two smaller ones, and then we have Boudreaux, our uh, nine-foot male um, albino alligator, along with um, his uh, roommates in there. We have three uh, normal-colored uh, female American alligators. Um, the uh, American alligator does, uh, the males do reach lengths up to about 14 feet long. Um, the girls are considerably smaller than that. Uh, on the endangered species list, um, through conservation efforts and uh, uh, legalized farming of alligators, uh, they've actually been removed from the list and they are, the populations are very strong now. However, albino alligators are very rare in the wild. Um, possibly one in every 250,000 hatchings are albino. Typically they're preyed on very quickly by birds, snakes, turtles, a lot of stuff he likes to eat little alligators. He'll be here indefinitely. Um, it, I guess it's officially a temporary exhibit, but uh, it's very popular. Uh, lines have been out the door to uh, come see Boudreaux, so I think he'll be here for a while. American alligator, he's about a year old. Um, typically they grow about a foot per year. Um, that's a good estimate. So. For to bite, uh, too much yet, but yeah, if I stuck my finger right in front of his mouth, he probably would bite me. Well, folks, there you have it. We've had an exciting time here at the Dallas Zoo, and we hope that you come out and see the exhibit.